Oddly Green, War Eagle. It's almost the ideal relationship between parent and student and teacher because parents, they want to be here and they want to be involved. They want their children here. Children love this environment and I as a teacher am more freely able to give my instruction, my attention and my love. We're able to work with these children to teach them good character just like their parents would. They're our kids. When we first moved to Lane, Noah was four years old and they immediately went to work and put together a plan and a para. We started him in school. He was pretty high strung, wouldn't sit down, had no focus. Noah couldn't mm. hardly say any words at all. Mm. And time out. As you can see, he's, he's very verbal mm. now. We have made great, great gains. There's always that fear of what is someone going to say or do to him. We do not have that worry here. Noah is with family. He's safe. We know that. Our small labs help them to utilize the computer, build their confidence with the computer so that they keep up with the technologies of today. It is very important so that they'll be able to read by the end of kindergarten. I play trombone and tuba for the Lane Eagle Band. Band is important to me because it, it gives me a way to express myself. I want to get scholarships for college and play in the OSU Marching Band. Because of band, I have a lot more options for what I want to do when I grow up. I'm the band director as well as uh, the teacher for fourth grade general music. Uh, we're very fortunate at our school that we actually have not only a band program and a general music program, but there's actually another music teacher who also teaches a vocal class. It's a lot of fun to be able to, uh, to conduct a concert or some type of performance and just see an entire gym full of people there. If we have some type of, you know, something's going on, the students maybe not getting, you know, quite as good of a grade as they should in the class, I know that that teacher's going to come talk to me right away and, and we're going to tag team that student so that they're not only able to participate in what we do in our activities, but so that that student is academically successful. I teach science in grade 6, 7th, and 8th grade. The children in the 8th grade were my children when I taught 5th grade. I get to work one-on-one -on -one with the children that need my help. I know these kids, I know who to group, how to group them. They just get a lot more attention. Absolutely, it makes a difference. I've been in education for 14 years, taught for the Oklahoma City Public Schools. I moved to California, taught six years. When I moved back to Oklahoma, I intentionally looked for K-8 or rural school district. I discovered that K-8s have smaller class sizes. Because our kids receive individualized instruction, they consistently score above state average on the end of the year test. Oklahoma has seen a 4% increase in its student population. However, K-8s have seen a 24% increase. That means that parents are choosing K-8s. K-8s are the parents' choice. The school is not a part of our community. Our community is a part of the school. I started out with a youngster that was out of control. He had no social skills and he was a special needs child that most people could not deal with or control. With this team that is at Lane School, there is technology. He has been involved in the band. His improvement is so much so that he's graduating the eighth grade and, and we're able to see him on the playground. We talk one-on-one -on -one with his teachers and uh, we are involved and with people that know his name and his situation and our name. This school needs to be here. We don't need to move to another and consolidate and make it bigger because when we stay small, we keep our classrooms small and that way we can teach them better. As a teacher, I know when you put 30 and 35 in a classroom, you cannot reach each one of them. You've got to keep those classrooms small. And if we consolidate, you're never going to make a small classroom.
and it's where we have our children growing up here among us and we can go and know that what's happening in this school. We can walk in here anytime we want to and it's the heart of our community. The teachers here, they were born here, raised here, they know how to teach these children because these children are growing up just like they did. These children need small schools. They need parents, teachers that are there involved in every aspect of their life. I am Misty Lytle. I'm a pharmacist and I'm a product of K through eight schools. What I believe a K through eight school offers is personal attention, opportunity, and they're like your extended family. The teachers uh, knew you, they knew your parents, they made sure that they put an effort towards getting to know you personally so that they could help you get where you needed to be in life. My name is Diane Walston. I'm a physician assistant and I attended a K-8 school. I feel like in a larger school I would have just been another kid in the class, not a kid who loved math and science that needed a little extra help to see that it was something I could do for the rest of my life. I'm Jessica Hunt. I went to school here. I have three kids that go to school here now. And Maggie loves her teachers. She's got one-on-one -on -one time with her teachers. Cooper loves his teachers. Cooper, I was so afraid Cooper wasn't going to do any good in school. He has such a short attention span. So it's hard for me to keep his attention because he gets on something else and he's, you just lose him. And you don't, you don't see that at school though because they keep his focus and he gets to make straight A's. And without that, I just, I don't think he would know the stuff he knows now. And Jet, Jet didn't talk until he was two and a half years old. He didn't say word. And he's four now and he can read. I, honestly, I never thought he was gonna talk. It's a school where you feel loved. Your teachers, they take care of you. They make sure you're doing okay. There's just so much Lane has to offer. I have three children who are what I would consider gifted and talented, and I have one who has special needs. And Lane Elementary School has met all of their needs. They prepared my two older ones who are junior and senior in high school now. They have both set number one in their classes. My two younger ones attend here, one with special needs, and when he started here, he couldn't even walk to the lunchroom. Well, now he's in sixth grade and he is traveling with the basketball team. He is going to classes by himself. He is taking the regular achievement test. Does he need modifications, adaptations, and accommodations? Yes, he does. Does this school provide them for him? Yes, they do. Do they push him? Yes. Does he get a free ticket? No, he does not. At Lane, we get to meet each child's specific need. Every child gets to succeed here because we're focused on the individual. We have everything that a school would want in a community. We have vocal, we have instrumental band, we have curriculum contest, we have athletics, uh, we have um, uh, technology second to none. Most years in the surrounding K-12 schools, the children who leave here graduate eighth grade they will be represented in the top 10% at the surrounding K-12s in, in three counties. We do so many things here. In fact, it is what every school, every community wants in a school. It's almost a public-private, in fact. We can consolidate every school in Oklahoma, and it won't be one more penny, one more dollar, to Enid or Lawton or Idabel or anywhere. We live within our means. We hustle. We're strategic. We plan. We're accountable. These are the things that we're doing in the K-8. And there's every sad story in the book with these children that have been left for dead. And when they walk on campus, they sense immediately that we have a culture and that they are somebody and that they matter. And they blossom and they overcome the bad hand that they've been dealt in their life because they're ours and they're one of us and they always will be. We made a difference in their lives. That's what education's all about. It's not doing it the cheapest way. We are returning a value for, for, the, for the dollars that we've been given here and the responsibility and the obligation that we've been given here. And we do it every day. And we will continue to do this. And we're proud. We're laying proud of what we do here. I truly believe that if we have room for 
vouchers, charters, virtual schools, home schools, school of math and science. If we have room for that, then we also have room for K-8 education.